This is the final review of Lord of the Flies. In Nazi Germany, Hitler's youth learned how to march and hate people professionally. In fact, they developed a kind of religious fever, and they were very excited by their Fuhrer. In fact, they were even taught to pray to him. Fuhrer, my Fuhrer, given to me by God, protect and preserve my life for long. You save Germany in time of need. I thank you for my daily bread. Be with me for a long time. Do not leave me. Fuhrer, my Fuhrer, my light, my faith. Ms. V, you say to me, that's crazy. Uh, yeah. Nazi Germany, we have the same sort of pageantry, a ritual in that dance. In fact, when Ralph and Piggy join Jack's tribe to see his feast, we see that Jack, painted in garland, sat there like an idol. There were piles of meat on green leaves near him, and fruit and coconut shells full of drink. He goes so far as to demand that a little and serve him. The other ritual, outside of the dance, that Jack demands is the act of leaving a sacrifice for the beast after every hunt. This gives us a view into what kind of leader Jack is. He believes in savagery and power through fear, just like Hitler. On the other hand, hard times have fallen upon Ralph and Piggy. If you've read the book, then you know how things end. If you're not reading, well, then perhaps you ought to. Do you know that if you're watching films instead, you will find some major discrepancies from the text? But more importantly, we've been looking at inferences, and I want to look at some specifics from the text here together. If we're looking at our three column notes, starting on the left, we have our first mention, and then in the yellow there in the dead center is the second mention, which has happened in the last section of our reading, and finally the inference we can draw. Now I've gone ahead and filled this in, but I want you to actually look at what's going on. In the first mention, when Jack and his tribe, who've just split from the main tribe, go hunting, this quote happens. The pigs lay, bloated bags of fat, sinuously enjoying the shadows under the trees. And then later, when Piggy, Ralph, and Sam and Eric go to Castle Rock to get Piggy's glasses back, someone was throwing stones. Roger was dropping them. Below him, Ralph was a shock of hair and Piggy a bag of fat. Now I'm sure that you've already drawn the conclusion that something's going to happen. I mean, after all, we do nothing but hunt pigs and we have a character named Piggy. Also, you could draw additional conclusions. Check out the way the pigs are laying around. They're just hanging out. And all through the beginning of the book, we've noted how lazy Piggy is. Now, logically, the kid has asthma and he can't do much. He even has a panic attack when the shelter is attacked. But that's not the way Roger sees him. So the inference we can draw is that if Roger sees pigs as something huntable, and Piggy displays not only the same name, but the same characteristics, then Piggy is something to hunt. Same pig hunt, Jack and his tribe have gone after that pig, and Jack tells Roger, sharpen a stick at both ends. Presently, he stood up, holding the dripping sow's head in his hands. Where's that stick? Ram one end in the earth. Oh, it's rock. Jam it in that crack. There. Jack held up the hand and jammed the soft throat on the pointed end of the stick, which pierced through into the mouth. Okay, so the next example. Ralph comes back to Castle Rock as an outcast, and he sneaks up to speak to Sam and Eric, who are on guard duty. But what are you going to do when you catch me? Silence above. He sounded silly to himself. He lowered himself down the rock. What are you going to do? From the top of the towering rock came the incomprehensible reply. Roger sharpened a stick at both ends. Roger sharpened a stick at both ends. Ralph tried to attach a meaning to this, but could not. Now, the first time I read this, I couldn't figure out what Sam and Eric meant either. Then I reread the pig scene. Jack is the sort of leader who gets fear to get power, so he's going to play on those fears. And we've already established that Jack is savagery. 
and therefore to get more power, well, he's going to do things that are considered less civilized. If, every time he goes hunting, Jack leaves a head as a gift for the beast, something that scares his, even, his own tribe, and he does this with a sharpened stick, sharpened on each end, then we can infer that the tribe intends to hunt and kill Ralph. If you're still stuck on making inferences, and your paper is having a little bit of trouble, please contact me. I'd love to help.